this video will make people angry because the NVIDIA video card prices are just around the corner and they're going to be more, a lot more. Now, there's a lot of YouTubers out there who are sitting in many cases in their mother's basements and who have never heard of economics who are complaining about the prices of video cards. But whose fault really is it? Is it truly NVIDIA being greedy who are making prices go up? Is it China? Because we can always blame China for whatever reason. Is it capitalism? Because in a socialist country, you would totally have all the video cards you could possibly want. Or is it a monopoly? That's right. The NVIDIA guys have a monopoly by making great video cards, which cost everything. Well, no, it's not a monopoly. It's your government printing money. It's economics. And if you haven't bought anything for a while, you should go to the store and look at the prices because inflation has been hitting us like it hasn't done for the last 10 years. As a matter of fact, if you look at the graphs that are on the screen, this is the inflation rate. And inflation is what making your dollar not go as far as it used to the year before. In some cases, it's very noticeable. And we're lucky that our inflation rate has been very stable. From 2010 until 2020, it was around one and a half to two and a half percent a year. So if your coffee goes up by a couple of cents, well, you won't really notice it until 2020 when we all got locked down and isolated and inflation went up through the roof. The problem is inflation isn't just a year to year thing. It stacks. So as you can see from 2010 to 2020, your dollar lost about 20% of its value. And yes, companies slowly increased prices. So it wasn't as noticeable. And you would have seen this with most products out there, whether it's food or home goods, they slowly go up in price over time. But in 2020, when the governments went nuts and started printing money like no tomorrow, that's when the inflation really hit and your dollar went down like a stone. It went down by about 20%. So what's another way of looking at this? If you bought a NVIDIA 4090 in 2022 for $1,600, what would cost you $1,725 now? And if we look at $100 from 2015 to 2025, in theory, you would need $133 to buy the same amount of goods. And the NVIDIA 80 series prices, they kind of follow the same pattern, slowly increasing over time, except for a big jump for the 4080 just after 2020 when the inflation kicked in. What about the 4090 video cards, the Titan cards? Well, they did the same thing. They kept slowly going up and there was less jumps, but these were very expensive cards to start with. And if we disregard this one price jump for the Titan RTX in 2018, we see the same trend. So other than keeping up with the inflation rate, Nvidia also increases their prices based on the amount of RAM they put into the video card, which I've analyzed and kind of have figured out the hack to decide how much video cards will cost. Let's take a look at the 80 series. Now let's take a look at the actual value for that video card. The GTX 980 had four gigs of RAM and came out for $550. The 1080 came out a couple of years later and for an extra 10% increase in price, gave you double the memory. Great. So we see a pattern that NVIDIA will increase their price by about 10 to 15% generation to generation. And we see that in the 2080. The price of the 2080 was 17% more than the 1080. The amount of RAM stayed the same though. The next big jump was the 3080, which came out during the universal lockdown that we will not talk about. But at that point, NVIDIA and the rest of the world was thinking that we are all going to be unalived because of a top secret virus and uh, the economy is going to fail and the world was going to end. Just think back to 2020 when everyone was stuck at home. They set their prices very aggressively. There was an increase in RAM by 25% but the price for the video cards stayed about the same. And also that was partially because the economies of most nations were going down the drain. Now, the 4080 came back with a vengeance. It went up to 
$1,200 from $699, which was a huge increase, a 72% increase in price. And it also had a 60% increase in memory, going from 10 to 16 gigs. And this was quite huge because in the past, we haven't seen a big jump in memory since 2016. That was six years earlier and three generations before. The interesting thing is as I was making these calculations, I guess that the price based on inflation for a 16 gigabyte video card should be between $1,300 and $1,400 for a 4080 replacement. So a 5080 would cost between $1,300 and $1,400. And that's the prices that have been leaked out there and everyone is fuming about. But as you can see, it falls in line with what we've expected from NVIDIA. Again, this graph starts to make a lot more sense once you remember that inflation kicked in right after the, the RTX 3080 and also that the RTX 4080 had more memory. The same story is in the Titan cards and that's the Halo cards, which later became the 3090, 4090 and the 5090. Well, the Titan X came out at a price of $1,000, which was double the price of a 80 series GTX 980. Then it went up in price by $200 in the next version. And when the memory got doubled in 2018 under the Titan RTX, well, the price was a premium. The price doubled, but that didn't last long. And by the way, $2,499 in 2018 is over $3,000 now. But we didn't have to worry about that because the RTX 3090 came out for $1,499, which would have been an extra $300 to the price of the previous version of the Titan. No memory increase in the next generation either in the 4090, but a 10% increase in price. So the 1590 at $2,000, is it a good deal or are we being ripped off? Well, first off, those who are wanting to buy it will buy it. But for $2,000, if that's the price and coming with 32 gigs of RAM, it's actually only a 25% increase in price compared to the 4090 with a 33% increase in memory. To me, that is fairly reasonable for this level of video card. If we look at the graph and just ignore the $2,499 price for the Titan RTX, we see a steady climb that addresses the fact that there's R&D, extreme prices that are applied to these video cards in the first place, but also the fact that there is inflation rate that these cards are fighting with. The 3090 cost $1,499. The 4090 should have cost $1,700 based on inflation, but NVIDIA gave us a break for whatever reason. Maybe they had lots of cheap memory available. So in theory, the 5090, if it was the same price and same memory, should cost $1,700 based on inflation. Why the difference of $200 to $300? Well, it's the extra memory. By going from 24 to 32 gigs of RAM, that's a 30% increase in memory. That accounts for the extra $200 to $300 for the price increase. Hopefully this video has explained to you why it's the inflation, the loss of buying power of your dollar, and the fact that NVIDIA does put a 10 to 15% premium on their video cards generation to generation is why the prices have gone up. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Plasma's out of here. And uh, let me know if you're buying a 5080 or a 5090.